YouTube, what's going on? Listen, real quick, before we start this video, Foundations, for limited time only, Valentine's Day special is 10% off right now. Use the coupon code 245VALENTINES. It's going to be in the description below if you're interested. If not, it's okay. Let's go ahead and start with this tutorial. It's going to be a crop top. Okay, we're gonna do this um, pretty much, it's already set, it's ready to go. It's really just maintenance work. I'm gonna fade them up, we're gonna texturize it, we're gonna use some different techniques to enhance the haircut and make it really, really pop. So hopefully you enjoy this tutorial, let's get started. All right guys, so here we go, crop top. We're starting off with the JRLs using the fade blade to go ahead and bald him out. We're gonna do a bald fade, crop top. And honestly, you like you can see it looks like he had a crop before. He he said he didn't. So, um, but it's 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 the perfect canvas. I can go right into fading. I don't need to cut the top. I like the length. So we're just gonna go ahead and bald him out. I'm using the Babulous, uh Foil FX shavers, and uh, now we have a nice clean canvas at the bottom to start. And now we'll start clearing the bulk with a number three, going right up to the par the parietal ridge, which is pretty much where the side starts to curve into the top, right? And we're gonna go ahead and do this number three all the way around. So now we know we're just blending a bald, um, the the bald line into a number three. Alright, so now we're going to start our blade open and this is going to be our next guideline. It's with the blade open. So you just open the lever, go from close to open and that's our guideline. We're going to do each side at a time. So now we're going to use our number one guard open. I know the, the color chart says the number one's red. I can't find my red guard so it's black this time around. I'm just using the premium guard. It's all the way open. So now we're gonna use our number two guard. It's all the way closed. And we know this is the last guard that we're using because we we started everything off with a number three. And we know we're blending to a three. So number two blends into a three. That's it. All right, so at this point, we're gonna go ahead and start knocking out this initial guideline. And we're going with the clipper close and we're opening it up gradually as we get up to the next guideline you don't want to pass the next guideline Now I left a faint line um, at the very bottom. We'll take that out later. Um, so now I'm using my half guard and this is what's gonna blend the blade open into the one open. It's just gonna bring everything together. Now for whatever reason um, it doesn't blend out, you can open it up some until it finally blends into that number one open. So I opened it up some. Now, to, to kind of stretch out the blend a little bit between the one open and the number two close, we're going to use that one and a half guard. And that's what I'm working with right now in this area. So 
So for whatever reason, there was a, a little bit of a line here. I'm just gonna use the same tool I used to create the line to take it out. I might need to use the shaver, in which case, you know, I would go downwards and then go upwards to make sure that that little bit of a line that you see there finally gets erased. Okay, and so we'll start the lineup process and then we'll detail it afterwards with blending shears, with a different clipper, whatever it takes to get this cut to the next level, um, I'm going to do. So, and we're going to do the same process on the other side. Yo, I mean, from this angle, it's really coming together. Now that I spent some time detailing the haircut, you can see it really just flows really nicely. I'm liking how the cut is coming out. Look at that, blurry. All right, and there's a little bit of a ridge on the sides. I'm leaving that ridge there because I wanna make sure I can see that that ridge kind of run into that hairline there so you can see my my trimmer kind of just meets with the that hard ridge on the side where the parado ridge is right and that you kind of want it to flow in there was a little bit of bulk right there um i just want to connect the hairline into that ridge and so now i'm gonna do some visual texture and we're doing doing it dry um I just didn't want to spend more time wetting the hair and then having to blow dry it. It's already the length I wanted. Um, I'm not really cutting any length. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the visual texture while it's dry. And then when we style it, when we put some 245 indestructible clay in there, man, I'm telling you, the texture is really just going to stand out. Okay, and here we are. We're going to go ahead and start this side. You guys can follow along, but real quick, I just want to break down some things. People have been asking, what's the difference between foundations and the online academy? Um, they're, they're completely two different things. So the foundations is an actual online course with lectures, and it really breaks down everything in kind of like a class setting. I, I also break down financial literacy. We talk about building wealth as a barber and systemizing your haircuts and I really break down everything into detail because on YouTube, um, to keep it real, you guys, some most of you guys aren't doing this as a profession. So if you're gonna, if you want to take this serious, if you're doing it as a profession and you want to invest in yourself, Foundations is a great, um, a great course to start out with, right? And then the Online Academy is pretty much, um, it's more of a community-based thing. Um, we have a community, a private community. We do uh, masterminds. We do your haircuts, my feedback. And then I do these tutorials right here, probably 30 minutes long with screenwriting and just more detail um, in, in a way that's not going to confuse your beginners or or um, in a way that's not going, that's not doing it over the top to where, you know, people are just going to click out if it was YouTube. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense and it kind of clears things up on what's the difference between foundations and the online academy so on this side as you can see we just did the same exact steps and um it's already coming together it's funny how some sides you know just come together quicker than the others i haven't even detailed this part and it's like 
like this side just fades easier so i'm sure if you cut if you guys have cut hair before like you know you cut a bunch of heads then you can relate to what i'm talking about I think with Kratos, man, the one and a half guard is really the X factor. That's what really brings everything together and it makes it so it's not too bulky going into the top to where with a crop top you want to keep that that weight around the, the Parado Ridge. But the one and a half guard does a really good job of of kind of you know lightening up that area so it's not too bulky, right? I like to detail everything like I like to detail sometimes with a different clipper it just helps me sometimes it's kind of reset the brain reset my eyes and um, it helps it helps me with detailing a little bit quicker you know sometimes when you're detailing with the same clipper you did you you did your fade with sometimes it takes you longer to to detail I don't know why I can't explain it but if you could relate let me know in the comments if you could relate so let's go ahead and line this up And this area right here, I'm point cutting. I want to lighten it up some. It's a little bit lower than the corners there. And what I'm, I want to do is kind of create more of a squared um, shape there with the hairline without making it look like I pushed his hairline up. All right, so now we're going to use the indestructible clay. And this is where the texture is going to really pop. And again, I saved myself time by not wetting his hair. I mean, it's already the length that I wanted, so I just texturized it, put some some uh, clay in there. I'm using this wide tooth pompadour comb that I got from Salon Centric. And then if we want to add more texture, more PC look, then I can use hairspray and my fingers to create that more PC textured um, look, as you can see here. Okay. And, and after I, I style it, I like to go back and detail some because it, it helps me. Once it's styled and the lineup is there, I can really see, you know, some of the imperfections. So I used aftershave there to clean the skin. And now I'm using the 245 Beard and Lineup Enhancement. Okay, we're going to use the, the Beam Team Coils Compressor. And we're going to go ahead and start to enhance this. Now, this color enhancement is not a semi-permanent. It's not designed... To dye the hair is designed to stain the skin 
So you want to get it on the skin. If it's on the skin, doesn't matter if you wet it, doesn't matter if you put soap on it, it's not going to come off. Now, if you rub hard enough, then layers of the, of the skin will come off and, and the color will, you know, it'll come off from like excessive rubbing right but it's, it's gonna be really hard to take it off unless you're trying to as you can see here I lifted the hair up with the comb so that I can get the color on the actual scalp and so that's what's gonna add more density a fuller look and a sharper line check out the finished look what do y'all think let me know in the comments below smash the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel thank you guys for watching I hope y'all learned something